Welcome back to Let's Play River City Girls. Last time, we unlocked them all after stealing the key from the security guard. This time, Kyoko is back in the driver's seat, and we, we decided to go into the mall and see what we can see there. Yeah, I probably could have worded that better, but whatever. Let's get on it. First off, we got a Sabu statue right here. That's 6 of 25. We're making good progress on that. Now, we've got a bunch of money to spend. You may notice that Kyoko is level 9. Uh, when I'm playing the game off-camera, I'm definitely going to be making a conscious effort to fight more enemies so I can get more experience and actually have the stats to not get horribly destroyed by the bosses if I don't play them super well. Uh, we've got a store here, so we just want to buy up to get our stats boosted. But yes, so Kyoko is a little bit higher level, has a little bit more money than Misako does at the moment, and she actually has an extra move over uh, Misako okay. at the moment. Let's check that out. We've uh, got her hook kick and... Uh, Actually, let me check the move names again. Let's see, the hook kick and the heel kick. And those are her combo extenders, so her combo is... Or is it the crescent kick? Well, whatever, her combo is a full five-hit combo now. Additionally, another move that she's gotten, by pressing forward and heavy attack, Kyoko can hit the dab and remind us that this game was made in 2019. Or at the very least, at least in 2019. And her upward heavy attack is the spin kick. Pretty powerful, sends the enemies flying quite well. Just gotta love it when he hits you with that snap kick. Alright, let's get on our way here. Now, we got a couple other stores here that I'm not going to buy anything from. Uh, this store, as well as the other one on the screen, they sell accessories. Accessories in this game, as you can see, you cannot tell what they do until you buy them. Additionally, they have really understated effects and are terribly expensive. So, I basically never buy accessories. Uh, I may buy some over the course of the game just to see if any of them do anything interesting. And there is one accessory that's actually really good that I'll uh, definitely buy for Kyoko when we get to it. But otherwise, I'm mostly just going to ignore these. They're just a waste of money. And another forced encounter here, so let's just destroy these guys with our improved moves. As you can see, Kyoko is hitting pretty hard at this point with uh, the accumulated stat bonuses as well as the stronger moves. I also got a new assist there, that is a cheerleader, she comes in with a jump kick. If you Now that we have a 5 hit combo, if you launch her as you uh, execute the 3rd hit of the combo, it should hit the enemies as they go into the air. Yeah, I was way too late on it there. Alright, and dab. Uh, that's pretty silly. <laughs> Okay. Hey, another level up. That's uh, quite the stat spread we got there. At this point, though, we're not going to be getting any more uh, moves through leveling up. The remaining moves are strictly gotten from buying them at the dojo. This guy has got another bunch of accessories. Again, nothing that I'm going to buy here. So we'll just be on our way. Now, there actually is not much for us to do in the mall, uh, aside from the stores, and our destination actually is not here. What we got to do is talk to Hiroshi. As soon as they stop beating me up. Hey, Hiroshi. Whoa. Hey, Hiroshi. Did you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally anytime. My life is pretty boring. Haha, <laughs> Hiroshi. He's a speed reader, but he also has low self esteem. Now, you noticed an exit to the right there? That actually does not lead to the construction site. The construction site is out of the mall. If, nor, near the bus stop, there is a blocked off uh, place that we couldn't get through. Now we can get through it, and that leads to the construction site. Anyway. We're actually uh, doing pretty good money uh, on money here, and man, that is some huge stat bonuses we got from buying out the tea shop. And yeah, we're just gonna send them flying because we've got another fight. Uh, we're actually doing pretty good on money, so I'll, I'll splurge a bit and buy us a new move. Uh, it's actually a good idea to not hold on to too much money, especially when you're going into a boss fight or anything. If you die, you lose a huge chunk of your money. It's like, I don't know, 30 to 40% of it just down the drain. Yeah, so don't don't hoard your money yet. Spend it until there's nothing left to spend it on. 
And in fact, uh, we will eventually hit a point where there aren't any stat boosters or any new moves to buy. So at that point, I may splurge and just check out what the accessories do, because we won't really have anything else to buy money on. Though I will be buying uh, healing items after a point uh, for the final area, which is rather long and does not have many opportunities to heal yourself. But I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Yeah, as you can see, the spin kick uh, off of the five hit combo, pretty powerful doing really well on fights at this point. I'll probably want to swing by Merv Burger to pick up a health restoring item, just so we can go into the, the upcoming boss fight with uh, full health. Of course there's a boss fight. Yeah, right. Now one nice thing about the dab is that it launches people across the screen, and if you launch it into other enemies, as you can see it knocks them over. Good way to divide and conquer. There we go, clean very well. And we just gotta finish this girl off. Uh, oh well, I can't get her anyway, let's just kill her with this bench. Okay, this bench is too slow, let's just punch her. There we go. Who's next? Who wants some? I was really hoping a wrestler would show up actually, uh, they're a pretty good assist. Of course, there is one assist that will be coming around to the game's halfway marker that is pretty widely considered to be the best in the game. It's a uh, very powerful. Can pull off the parry there. Okay, and finish this guy off. Get any more? Yes. Huh. Would have much rather that came in a wave of four. Now, you may notice that uh, I haven't really drawn attention to this. There's a bar underneath our health meter. Uh, I'm going to buy a move that will actually allow me to demonstrate what that is for. So let's uh, get out of here. We'll hit the dojo first and then decide what healing items we're going to buy after we've gotten our move. Thankfully, the dojo is very close to where we need to be. So let's head on in there. One thing that uh, I think I alluded to, but uh, an annoying change about uh, going into the doors, it is very easy to get surrounded and beaten up when you're trying to enter these places. Alright. Yeah. Nah, not the pogo kick. Volleyball set would be nice, but the move we're gonna get is Dragon Feet. This is a pretty good move, and it is our first Go special move. World, you use special moves by pressing the special button, of course, which on my controller is the A button. And this one... Yeah, there we go. Huge kick combo, does really good damage. Uh, this is one of uh, Kyoko's bread and butter moves. Uh, you want to use it before the final hit of your light combo because it launches the enemies and causes quite a few of the hits to miss. But yeah, there is one thing much later in the game that will make that special a lot stronger, but it'll be a while before we see it. Let's see. Let's hit the sushi place to see what kind of uh, health hey, restoration we can get, get here. Uh, 30% should do us pretty well. Coming right up. It's pretty close, but I think I'll need to get some fries from Merv Burger to top us off. $15 should be enough, right? <sighs> yes. More customers. Alright. Now that we are done messing around, let's get over to the construction site. Is this a construction site? It's so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. I'll probably have cut off there because I realized that they were talking, but uh, there's just one more Sabu statue there, our uh, sixth statue. Or was that our seventh? No, it was our seventh. I am very bad at paying attention. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. If rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky pill? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? Oh, it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. 
I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Cunio, and he seemed nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Cunio and I became best friends. We read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Cunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Cunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Cunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Cunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later in middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be. Okay, wait up. Love of your life? You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Cunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. All right, we've got our fight against Yamada. Now, Yamada is a practitioner of the dark arts, as soon as I can get over my speech impediment. So, he uses a lot of magic. Uh, what we're gonna do here, uh, you wanna hit him just twice, and then we're gonna stop. It's a little too slow there. Oof. Yeah, be careful. You do not wanna get scooped up in his combo, because he does a lot of damage. Oof. That was very poorly placed there. All right, so what you notice how I'm only hitting him twice and then I'm launching a heavy attack. You don't want to hit him three times because at that point he starts blocking. You want to knock him down after the second hit. And what I want to do here, Yamada is the only boss in the game who does not have any kind of get up attack really. So you can just curb stomp him and he won't be able to do anything about it. This next attack, he summons up a bunch of orbiting objects. One of them is a healing item, so we can take that. Let's just start curb stomping him again. Ooh, that was unfortunate. So yes, both him and you can be knocked off the building, and that does pretty serious damage. You gotta be mindful of that. Yamada is able to come back from it a lot more quickly than we are. Alright, so he's on the building still, so start curb stomping him. He's gonna warp in, launch his attack. There we go. Pretty simple fight, though as you saw, he hits pretty hard, so be very careful of that. Now, watch out for this attack. This uh, beam is going to trail us, and he is invulnerable while it's going, so we don't want to risk trying to attack him. Fortunately, it does not go for very long. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's start curb stomping him again. There we go. And yeah, you can kind of get him into a loop. Ah, I uh, went overboard on the combo there. Okay. Let's... I'm doing this really poorly. Uh, my timing always gets thrown off when I get blocked like that. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever seen this, him use this attack multiple times. Then again, I don't usually screw these attacks up as much as I am doing so right now. <laughs> well, that is not the cleanest I've ever had that fight go, but we won. Uh, uh, I suck. Stay down! Don't try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, cause it's spooky! Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. 
<laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy. Yeah, they do not have much respect for Yamada, but for defeating him, we get a pretty good accessory, Love Letter. This gives us a 5% damage bonus against male enemies, so pretty handy there. And a level up, awesome. Alright, from this point, we gotta go to Uptown. Now, there are two routes we can take to get to Uptown. We can either take the alley behind Pattinson's house, and a warehouse will open up, and we can get through it through there, or we can go through the final screen of the mall to get there. Since it's closer, we'll just take the mall route. Thankfully, that level up fully healed us, so I'm not going to worry too much about, uh... Oh, what is it? <laughs> healing up, healing up. Man, my speaking is so bad. Maybe after, like, seven or so Let's Plays, I'll get better at, uh, continuing a or carrying a single line of thinking. <laughs> Alright, but, as you'd expect, as soon as we get to the other exit of the mall, we get into a forced encounter. Actually, I, I should probably equip the... Love letter. We're going to get rid of the virtual pet since it's not terribly useful. Yeah, all right. There we go. I almost <clears throat> missed the timing for that. <coughs> yeah, sorry for the coughing there. Sometimes you get something in your throat. All right, so we're just going to issue the beat down on these guys. And other news, uh, I finished up my first playthrough of Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2, starting a second playthrough where I'm taking more notes on what the enemies are capable of so I can better uh, handle them when I get to them in the actual Let's Play, as well as taking better notes on what treasure is where and what's actually worth getting. So hopefully that... <laughs> ah, sorry. Hopefully that is a lot better structure than the Digital Devil Saga 1 Let's Play was. Not that I felt like I had a bad structure to that, uh, it's just didn't handle things quite as well as I wanted to, and there were many times where I forgot the exact sequence of events and I got lost a little. I'm hoping to avoid that. Gotta improve a little bit with every series you do, you know? So this is Uptown, huh? Seems pretty fancy. And expensive. And judgy. We don't belong here, do we? No, we do not. Alright, gonna try and use Dragon Feet a little bit more. It's a pretty good move overall. Actually, I intended to do a dab there, but whatever, the spin kick worked. No, you're just gonna die. There we go. I did actually not intend to do the dab there, I was trying to throw him. Okay, let's just uh, divide them up a little bit. Yep. That was uh, me not following my own advice there. Yeah, sometimes you uh, get out of distance for actually hitting the enemy, and that just interrupts your combo. As you can see, we got a new enemy over here, the Whip Dominatrix. She has quite the reach, as you can imagine, and she hits decently hard, so always want to be careful when dealing with her. Okay. Once again, I was intending to do the dab there, but uh, my finger placement has never been particularly good. Nor is my uh, timing on these attacks, really. Oh well. Can't do everything perfectly. Hey, what's this? Oh hey! It's you two again! I got another mission for you. This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like he runs River City. Psh! You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it, and I'll reward you. Alright, so Godai is here with a more serious mission than the one he gave us last time, if you take committing acts of serious vandalism as being more serious. Uh, yeah, we'll want to make sure to equip the pepper spray before we get to that mission. Hey, who's this over here? If I can get to her without being kicked in the face. Oh hey, it's Yoko. Sup? What are you doing in Uptown? I live here. You're rich? No, but my parents are. Have you seen Kunio and Ricky around here? Nope. Why? They ditch you guys again? Again? No, they got kidnapped. For real? That's pretty metal. No, it's pretty sad, and it makes my heart hurt. Oh, Ricky. 
Kyoko, show her your text. Oh, yeah! Hmm, you should go talk to Hibari. Who? Uh, the fashion designer? Jeez, don't you guys know anything? I shop at discount. I found this shirt at a bus stop. The thug in this photo, the one shoving your boyfriends into the van? He's wearing one of Hibari's custom jackets. Ooh, nice detectiving! Everyone who's cool wears Hibari. No offense. None taken. Hibari's warehouse is at the east end of Uptown. Show her this photo. She might know who took your boyfriends. Poor Kyoko and Misako. Seems like they only really fit in with Kunio and Ricky. Well, that's just something to contemplate for later. But, of course, another forced encounter here. But hey, we need the XP and the money, so I don't mind beating up on some cheerleaders for a little bit. Speaking of that, let's uh, have uh, our own. Oh, never mind. Sometimes the assist just doesn't come out. I'm not sure if it's input lag from my controller or if it's just the game being weird. Alright, who wants some? We're actually close to $400 here, which is pretty good, because there's a shot coming up where we'll need exactly that much money. Now, right. I was going to set them up for a cheerleader attack, but oh well. There we go. And just hit the dab, always. Now, there is something for us in this arcade right here, but we want to go into the store first, because... Get your oh, games. Right man, here. I'm 50 cents short. Oh, well, we'll have the money after we get out of here. We can buy video games from this store, and uh, despite these being games, you be eat safe. them, apparently. Uh, they restore your stamina by 100%, and they Item. give you plus yeah. two to a given Ooh, stat. But as you can see, $100, a little expensive and impractical. Yeah, all right, and I'll just get that. There Better we be go. Safe. Now, inside this arcade, we'll have a, another forced encounter. But unlike the other dead-end areas, which this one is, there is actually something waiting for us here. I'm saying that like it's a huge mystery what it is. There we go. Actually managed to land an assist that time. It went over on the light combo there. I'm trying to mix my combos up just to keep the combat a little interesting. Can't wait until we get uh, some of the really good moves to chain together. And we'll just kick that guy in the head and stomp him down. There we go. I'm gonna divide these guys up a little bit. And let's go for an assist again. There we go. Doing pretty good here. Much better than the last video where I was just getting absolutely destroyed by anyone and everyone, especially when I was trying to use the Haymaker. And yeah, functionally, uh, Kyoko's dab is basically the same thing as the Haymaker, it's just got a silly animation, and it's probably more topical for the era that it was released in than it really should have been. There we go. I decided not to finish the combo there, just because I want to make sure I hit him with that. Yeah, sometimes I'm not as good at timing the finishers for the combos as much as I'd like to be. Alright, for our efforts we got another Sabu statue, number 8. Okay, now let's get that other video game. Here we go, if I can get him in the store. Get your game! Okay, right hot blooded guys, and that gives Item. us plus two yeah. AT, Ooh, which I think is attack. Not sure. I know on one of these screens there's another Sabu statue, but I don't think it's this one. Let's head over here. We've got another store that's waiting for us on this screen, the toy store. And much like the DVD store, these are actually food items, for some reason. And uh, the noise figure is the most notable one. Restores 100 health and gives plus one to every single stat, but as you can see, it's a ridiculous $500. All the other stuff we just don't have any Goodbye. money for, period, although it's a bit more affordable. Okay. I'm gonna ignore these guys. And I think it's right here. Yes, there's the Sa Sabu statue in the top right there. This one's a little tricky to hit, and also very tricky to see, as you can imagine. We want to keep these guys off the bus stop. Oh, man. Yeah, the hitbox for the Sabu statues is a little weird. You see, I would have thought that I'd hit it right there, but... Yeah, that, nope. Ugh. Man, I'm not hitting this thing at all. There we go. It's a comedy of errors. Okay. One more Sabu statue. Man, we're just finding these things like crazy. Alright. Well, this is Hibari's, I'd imagine.
Come on, let's find that fashion lady and ask her about the dude in the photo. Masako? Yeah? Do you think we're badly dressed? Heck no, we look amazing. I guess so. As I was saying, unless this is a huge coincidence, this is probably the abode of the Habari we're looking for. But is this the place? Let's find out. Hey! Any of you ladies know a Habari? They're not answering. Maybe they're busy. Hope they don't have to be rude. Let's come back later. Now, it might not seem a little clear. They're actually talking to these seamstresses in the background behind the cage there. Uh, I was a little unclear on if they were talking to the schoolgirls when I first played this game. But yeah, it looks like uh, Habari is not out in the open and nobody's really willing to tell us where she is. Hmm, wonder what we can do about this. Okay, should be able to finish them off with a couple curve stomps. So I don't pick it up and I would have been wrong anyway. Oh well. Anyone else want some? Haha, <laughs> silly question. We'll just get her down and let's take this girl out. It's a good idea to uh, keep these really tough enemies, like the whip ladies, uh, down on the ground so that they can't interrupt you while you're trying to take out the chaff enemies. Uh, these ladies- oh! Ah, I could've recruited her. Oh well, it's not a huge deal. Now, hey! Another Sabu statue! Man, we're finding these like crazy all of a sudden. Very nice. Well, let's get on out of here. Maybe something has changed outside. Okay. Thankfully, no forced encounter on the way out. And hey, look who it is. Dork alert. Oh, it's you guys again. What's up, Hasabe? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Looking stylish as hell. Do you two know this fashion lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. I usually am. Hibari is the fashion icon in River City. She's making us custom outfits. Well, where is she? Yeah, we got questions. Oh, let me guess. How do socks work? <laughs> What's a bra? <laughs> I know what a bra is! Uh, you need an offering for Hibari to show up, Masako. Jeez, everyone knows that. Except them, apparently. An offering? Something fancy. Expensive. And gold. Can it just be colored gold? <laughs> Come on, Kyoko. Let's go find an offering. We need something gold to make that weirdo fashion designer show up. But we're so poor. Let's try the pawn shop in the toy district. Maybe we can trade them something. Like a knuckle sandwich. How you're talking. <laughs> I do have to admit, I can't help but love how rude and snooty uh, Mommy and Hasabe are. Although I think that's wildly out of character for them uh, relative to the rest of the series. Whatever. Anyway, we need something fancy and gold. And of course, as soon as we get out of the place, we get ambushed. Ah, uh, such is life. There is actually something else for us to do on this screen, but that, as well as getting the offering for Hibari, we'll save that for the next video. Let's just finish off uh, these annoying trash mobs here, and yeah, not too bad. Alright, but let's get over to the setting screen and save our game. So this is where we'll call it. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, goodbye.